tree. And as you see in the title, we're having pot stickers, only these are going to be made of um, wild game chucker. Uh, chucker is an upland game bird that we have in Nevada, Utah, Idaho, um, I, I'm sure parts of California. Anyway, it, it's my husband hunts them all winter long from October to February, and Super Bowl Sunday is the last day. This is, um, show that. I'm going to, I'm going to grind the meat up and I'm going to mix it with a two and a half pound uh, pork shoulder roast, little tiny thing. Um, I got for five sixty four, uh, and I'm, I'm going to combine it. So there's some fat in there. Otherwise they'll be dry and we don't want them dry by any stretch of the imagination. So the little breasts are already, um, off of these and I like to have some paper toweling so if I do I mean I've inspected these three times now and they've been brined um, I see a little feather there I just take it and wipe it onto the paper towel so I inspect everything really good before it goes in my grinder and I've got to take the bone off the little legs so the dark meat is really good and it's it's basically just like chicken the breast meat is real light and it's just delicious. It's one of my favorites. So I like to have some of this ground up. It makes awesome burgers. It makes great tacos. Oh my gosh. And you'd never know you weren't using ground turkey. I uh, honest and truly. And I don't, when I do tacos and that kind of thing, I, sometimes I don't even add the pork cause you don't need it. But okay. So we're going to get cutting this off the bone and then I'm going to bring you in close so you can really get a good look at what, uh, it looks like I just sharpened my little knife. And these, this is my favorite um, paring knife. It, it's a Victorio or a Victoria Knox is the name of the knives. It doesn't even say it on there. Um, they're very inexpensive. I'll try to leave a link if I remember in the about section below. We can skin a whole deer with one of these and only maybe, maybe have to sharpen it once. I mean, they stay sharp for a long time they're lightweight, they just are fantastic. So, in fact, a lot of taxidermists, in fact, it was our taxidermist that um, told us to buy these knives. And they run, you know, under, they're under $7, I think. And, okay, so then the bones are gonna go in a pile here. I'll make it another paper towel, but uh, I'm gonna have plastic under it, so none of the, juices are gonna leak onto my countertop and contaminate my countertop. So let me bring you in close. I'm gonna wash my hands, bring you in close and um, show you what, what I'm dealing with and then we'll take a break while I get the mixer all set up with the KitchenAid grinder attachment. And um, yeah, and I'm vlogging. So we're gonna have some vlog footage in there too. So I got my camera all propped up there in the cabinet. So the breast meat, this is not a good example. This one got pretty tattered, but um, let's get you a nice, a nice one as we cut up the chucker. Okay, so the chucker, um, here's one and see these little pieces. I, I gotta get that off of there um, and just, so that's what you're dealing with. Palm size, I mean, they're not very big. Um, some of them are bigger than others. This is a good example, but that's, that's about what size they are. So you wanna get off any icky spots you don't like. And you know, it takes a little bit of uh, doing because these have been washed now three or four times. Now this is a leg and this is a, mm, not a very big one, but not, not super small either. And I'm just gonna cut that off the bone. And I'll cut those breasts into little more manageable pieces too. I don't know why I threw those in there. Because you want them to go through your grinder. And I'll tell you what, this meat is cold, really cold. Okay, just like that. And you can save the bones and throw them into your next uh, chicken stock. And it, all it does is add natural minerals, collagen, all that. These bones are as hard as hard can be. Even after they've been pressure canned, they're still hard as a rock. Where chicken bones mush together, just mush. So 
I'm going to go ahead and cut, there's the tenderloin, um, cut this into just strips that can go through the grinder. Okay, so now we're ready. I cut up the pork roast into pieces that are easy to put in and the um, chucker. It's all ready to go. Yeah. Anyway, I'm going to do, with the KitchenAid grinder attachment, uh, go ahead and start loading. And you want your meat extremely cold. So I alternate between um, chucker and uh, pork. It's all going to get mixed together, so don't worry about it. And on And to figure Weight Watcher points, I'm going to figure how many wonton wrappers I can have. And I'm going to weigh out three ounces of this meat and see how many that will stuff. And then we'll go from there. Um, but it, it should give us a good idea of what we um, have. And I'm going to move the scale for right now because I'm going to be mixing spices. And here I have um, some ginger. And I... I also have some on the knife here. Oops. Some of it leaked out. That's okay. So we're going to want about, yeah, about an inch and a half of ginger in there. I don't want it overpowering at all. Um, so, and then put the lid back on that. And that's ginger in the tube. You can do fresh ginger also. So I would do about a teaspoon of grated fresh ginger. Um, and here I have um, four small green onions or spring onions. I've got about five cloves of minced garlic because garlic is delicious. And then about a half a cup of chopped cilantro. And that's a half a cup after I've chopped it up. So it's quite a bit of cilantro, but I think it'll be fine. And if it looks like I have too many spices for this amount of meat, I can add more meat. But that's what I'm going with right now. And I'm doing a recipe builder thing with my Weight Watcher, what I know from Weight Watchers. And, okay, now, go ahead, and before I get mixing that up really good, this is a chili habanero lime uh, spice, and that's about a half a teaspoon of that. We might want a little bit more. This is a grinder. You can get these at Walmart. And this is delicious. It's spicy, but not too bad. And I would have put, for, you know, chili flakes in here anyway. And then this is the garlic herb, and I want the same amount <laughs> and a little bit more. I'm not going to salt the meat because it got brined. Um, I, I don't believe you're going to need it. And, yeah. And you're going to be dipping it into kind of a salty um, sauce. You, any pot sticker sauce has soy and all kinds of goodies in there. That's salty. So, let's see. Stir this up really good. Let's see what I got. I think we got the perfect amount, honestly. And then I'm going to steam these pot stickers first and then uh, brown them off in a frying pan. Just like they do in the. Um, Asian restaurants and when you go for pot stickers that's how they do it so oh that doesn't that look good and this smells fantastic honestly garlic and onions and if you're dieting I mean if you did this with chicken breast and a little bit of pork roast or just ground chicken unfortunately if you go in the grocery store it can be pretty high fat so you got to watch what you're doing you're better off to grind it yourself and add your pork and that pork did not have that much fat on it so you're just adding an extra flavor if you did chicken breast and pork um, it would make a wonderful pot sticker so you could do these with ground turkey really anything you want and that one pound of meat seriously with that salad will stretch to feed six to eight people um, unless you just are a pot sticker I don't know <laughs> I don't even know where to go with that. So now I'm going to get my wonton wrappers. I'm going to weigh out three ounces though onto my scale. 
So, those of you that are following me, um, let me make sure that's really mixed up good. I don't want it. I don't want to get chipped out of any of this goodness. So I want three ounces of meat. That's 2.2. There we go. Oop, here we go. Nope. There we go. Three ounces exactly. So that's not very much. That's a handful. Again, if you gauge that, if you guys are doing Weight Watchers, that's a handful. So I'm going to see how many pot stickers that makes. That right there is two points. Um, that's a very lean meat. So that's two points. And then I'll figure out the wrappers. We're going to figure out how many wrappers that will take. And then I might I might want more. You never know. And if I do, that's okay. So let's get to building and wrapping and I'll bring you back. So we're going to do our sauce. And um, in this bowl is a half a cup of soy sauce. And it's a light soy sauce, but it's still salty. It's all get out. Um, I'm, I'm not going to use fresh garlic in this. Sometimes I will, but I've got so much garlic inside the pot stickers. There's about a teaspoon of a Johnny's garlic spread. Very garlicky, very delicious, low sodium. And we're going to need some uh, sesame oil. And I use toasted sesame oil. And um, it lends such a great flavor, but you gotta be careful because you can't put too much. So for this amount, maybe three teaspoons. I'm looking at it going, yeah, I need three teaspoons. I'm, I'm okay with quite a bit. And I've got parchment down because that's what I'm gonna set my pot stickers on when I get done with them. And now I've got Chinese five spice and I want to I've got a half of a teaspoon. Let's do, yep, let's do half of a teaspoon of Chinese five spice. And in my palm, you know, a good healthy three finger pinch of red pepper, nah, six finger pinch <laughs> of red pepper flakes. <laughs> oh, I tickle myself. Um, and you're gonna need some acid, so I'm gonna use uh, red rice vinegar, not red wine vinegar, rice vinegar, about two, three tablespoons. You're gonna do this to taste, and I am gonna taste it, so um, it's not just saying we gotta do it to taste. And then I want ginger, and I want about one, two, so about two teaspoons of fresh ginger. And you're gonna to wanna to make this before you do your pot sticker so it has time to rehydrate all of the spices because they're dried spices. They need to come back to life and rehydrate. And your liquid, this smells amazing. My mouth is watering. Okay, I'm gonna give it a little taste and see if I think, I think it's gonna need some sugar or some honey. I'll tell you the truth. And back mm, with yeah, the honey. It needs honey. And I'm going to need about two tablespoons. Just because that soy is so salty and everything is so savory, you got to have it. And get the lid back on, make a sticky mess, and I can wash that off later. And give it another little zhuzh around the pool. And once your honey's all dissolved in there, then you're gonna give it one more taste. And then we're gonna have pot sticker sauce. Yum! You guys, it's gonna be delicious. Some wonton wrappers, and I've got the square ones. And then you're gonna need a spoon to get your meat, how much meat you think it's gonna take for each wonton. You don't wanna overfill them or you're gonna be sorry. But I think you know, about a tablespoon would, you know, a light tablespoon, I'm going to say. And then you're going to take your finger and wet all the edges. 
and mm. then I'm just going to wrap them over in a nice triangle and there you go and you could you know try to make the edges all per fancy but you don't need to that one you know I could have put a little bit more meat in there but I think these are going to be delicious just like that and I'm going to leave this set right over here on the parchment okay I've got my steamer working. basket rocking and rolling my uh, cast iron is getting hot over here so I'm going to steam these first and then we're going to cook them off and I'm super excited. Okay, I did add more honey um, and it's perfect now. It's absolutely delicious. So I think I can get all of them in here. I can, but I don't, I don't really want them sticking to each other necessarily. So we're gonna steam these so it cooks the meat. You've got to cook that meat. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend putting cooked meat in a pot sticker, <laughs> but I guess you could. Anyway, so we're going to steam this until that meat is cooked through and then we're going to go ahead and brown them up in the frying pan that's over here and hopefully um, I can get you closer over there and let you see that. Okay guys, do you see these? Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. And this is gonna be fantastic. I've got my salad dished up alongside, but this is totally worth counting all the points. Um, I, I have no problem doing that. I'm super excited. They're probably really still very, very hot. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cut into one for you. So you can see the inside. Um, here's one. This one had a blowout, so we'll cut into that one. How's that? Cut into that, and then you can see. And they got real crispy on one side, which is what I wanted. Focus, 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 focus. We'll see. Uh, come on. See that? That's what it looks like inside. Just tender white meat and oh, and all the spice. Okay, we're gonna dip it, dip it, dip it. And I like to soak mine a little bit <laughs> so we get a lot of the sauce in there. Mmm, oh my gosh, I'm drooling. <laughs> well, my mouth's watering, let's put it that way. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Off the chart. Mm. Oh, good Lord in heaven, that is delicious. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Guys, I hope that you try this. This is without a doubt unbelievable and I hope that you come back next time to see another delicious recipe, a vlog, or an idea of something you can do with your Weight Watcher plan or, hmm, I don't know, this would be absolutely fantastic for Super Bowl Sunday. In fact, I may have to make it. Being Super Bowl weekend is the last weekend of chucker hunting. I believe we're having checker pot stickers on the menu. Mm, so delicious. Guys, don't forget to check the links below. If you're not a subscriber, you need to go down there and hit that red subscribe button. And after you do that, go ahead and hit the bell. Um, that's the notification button. That way you get notified and you don't get unsubscribed accidentally. Um, I know a lot of that is going on out there. And then, as always, mm, don't forget to check my vlogs and um, I've got my mailing address, my Zacon Foods. You can go buy boneless, skinless chicken breast to do these for yourself. All right. And now until March 31st, your very first order with Zacon, and the link is below to sign up for free, is 20% off. That's unheard of. I think if you order chicken breast now, and we're, we're January 18th, if you order them now before they are not on sale anymore, 
um, it brings your price down to a dollar thirty-six, I believe, or a dollar thirty-three. Anyways, a pound. You can't get that in the grocery store, and they're top quality and fresher than you could ever get in your store. So, here's to pot stickers on Weight Watchers. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm.